Hello folks, Major Gosnell here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create an electrical system in Factorio. So electricity is a very important part of the game, and it's also slightly bewildering how to actually create electricity early on in the game if you're not used to it. So I'm going to show you how to actually set up your first steam engine to produce energy. Now, first thing you're going to need is your ingredients. So the items you need to actually create electricity is a steam engine, a boiler, and this is the one that took me a while to figure out, an offshore pump. Because the boiler needs water, and you need to get water into your boiler. So, for an offshore pump, we need two electronic circuits, a pipe and an iron gear wheel. For the boiler, we need stone furnace and a pipe. And for the steam engine, we need iron gear wheels, five pipes, and an iron plate. So, we're going to need a lot of iron here. So, first thing we're going to do is grab our resources. So I'm going to take these copper plates that I made earlier. Then we're going to run up to the other side of our base here. Do, do, do. Forgive the convoluted mining system I've got going here. Go run here. We're going to grab our iron plates. And I think that's everything we need to actually get this started. So now we are going to create our components. So one boiler, one steam engine, and a lot of lot of pipes. And one offshore pump. Now, I'm going to show you how to actually create your electricity. So we're just going to wait for the parts to be built there now. We are going to check that over here. Put this into our taskbar. Now, there we go. <coughs> so the first thing you want to do is get your offshore pump, which is this weird looking device here, and place that in the water, like so. Then, you're going to want to get your piping, to do, which for some reason we don't seem to have made yet. So we're going to need some more iron panels here. There we go. Create a couple of pipes. Okay, there we go. So, you're going to connect your piping to the pump. As you can see, the water is flowing into it, as you can see. Now, next thing you're going to do is you're going to connect that to your boiler. So you're going to put your boiler on here, and then you are going to connect the boiler to the steam engine. Like so. Now, this is what confused me a little bit early on as well, was the steam engine having the no power icon flashing. However, this is a bit of a misnomer. It will actually be powered up. However, you do also need to add coal to your boiler. So what we're going to do here now is we're going to change the layout of our actual conveyor belt here. Do -do -do. Now this was just bad planning on my part. So there we go. Okay, now that do does create a few more just in case, and we're going to feed our coal down here. Oh. That along here. Drop this back into our taskbar. Okay, and now it's going to set up our boiler so it has a constant stream of coal coming in. Okay, drop that down there like so. Oh, maybe one too many there actually. Now, just going to put a burner here as well. Gonna need some iron ore for that. Ah, uh, iron plates. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna have one burner set up there. So the burner inserter will put coal into the boiler because it needs coal as well. Do, do, do. And once again, make sure your burner is uh, burner inserter is facing the right way. So now it's gonna start feeding coal into the boiler. Now I'm just gonna reconnect my conveyor belt to the rest of my mining factory here. Give me one little moment. Okay, and there we go. Mining is reconsuming. So, our boiler is now set up and our steam engine is good to go. Now, in order to get the steam engine to produce electricity, it needs to have to have something needing electricity. So, we are going to build a laboratory. Now, that requires 10 electronic circuits and a lot of iron. So we're going to put that back down here. I'm going to run up here. 
Do, do, do. Check that in there. And then we're going to create a labar tree, like so. Now the labar tree will be made in a few seconds, as you can see in the bottom left of the screen. The items are being built as we're speaking. Do, 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 do. And we are nearly there. The bar tree is being built right about now. So, I'm going to place our bar tree here. Do, do. And that's also our research tree, which I'm going to be covering in another guide. So, now the bar tree is placed. However, as you can see, they're not plugged in. So, we're going to need some wood to build electronic poles. Telegra uh, poles for the electrical wiring to be trying to be strung up between, basically. <laughs> so, just going to cut down these two trees. Do, 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 do. Should be a good bit of wood on this one, I think. Yep, si oh, 16 wood. No, oh, four wood. <laughs> so, what you need to do then is go into your logistics and two small electrical poles. So, we're going to build a couple of those. Wait for them to be built. Then click four. And, as you can see, there's a box here. Now, when the pole is go that color, I think it's kind of like an aqua color, you place it next to the steam engine, then place the next one here. And now, ta-da, your laboratory and your steam engine are working in sync. So we're going to put the telegraph poles back down here. The, the laboratory is now working, and as you can see, your steam engine is now producing electricity. So that is how you set up an electrical network within your factory. And these telegraph poles, which I'll highlight there, do, 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 five. now there you go, you just string your electrical poles like so to connect up other items that need electricity. It really is very intuitive. So that's how you do it guys. Hope you enjoy and hopefully I will have a few more tutorials up for new players within the next couple of days. Thank you.